Championship Series April Qualifier. We have Tali Bobo up against Emilia. And we have Espion Traveler and Edegos Buswood, the Sid Drivers of Tali Bobo Believers, and Comfey, Mew, Slowbro, Glacier, and Giorgio for the side of Mimia. Again, qualify for the April tournament. Toon Slam on that Espion, getting the best attacker you can currently get. The other side going for that Mew, of course, still also a very strong Pokemon, even though it did get nerfed. And is for sure weaker now. And then we have Klaus on that Buswoy. I'll be very angry. What path now? Megu and Toon Slim looking for the first last hit, and they're gonna get it successfully. Goes over to the side of Megu. Now go back to the left side and pick up this as well. They left up one bunny right here. Thinkly this one. Because they feel like they just wanted to be there faster. Going for the slowpoke now. Slowpoke dropping low HP, but I mean they don't have enough early game damage. Toon Slim getting close to level 4 now. Can Reigns somehow steal this one away? That'd be huge, because that would deny the Espion Evolution by a few more seconds for sure. But now he's actually getting engaged on Hesley Jack Button away. They're like, okay, you come to my side, but Kunstam now dropping solo HP, but he gets the knockout. He gets the first knockout of the game. He Jack Buttons away, but the slow bro out to tank is gonna follow Mew and take him down as well. One for one trade. But it probably should be in favor still for the South Tali believers because Mew, um, I, I, I mean, because Espion got the knockout instead of Mew, so Mew. Got much less experience. Two no level five now. Very close trade right here. Going for the Sataria phase now. Nice side shock's going to land. And not sure if he actually got this lasted as well with that. He's has so much more experience already now. Level six for Toon Slam. Already got the side beam. And we have Yutao just trying to get to level seven as fast as possible. Glacium with that icy wind bit. And looks like Yutao also got a lot of experience. He's already level six. We have a sweet kiss for Comfey. Sweet kiss Comfey. Is that a misclick or is it actually serious? Aye, right, time will tell. But he's getting super powered. No healing there from the Comfey. Just the Street Kiss instead. And taken down. Buster's gonna score 12 points. Server's gonna score another 9. And now Klaus is able to stack for free. What path? Toon Slim almost level 8 already now. Almost level 8. He is so far ahead right now. In this game. Another Sweet Kiss coming through. Looking for the Buster right here. Can, uh, but I mean, no, Klaus is so far ahead already. I don't know what Dudo is supposed to do with the Sweet Kiss Comfy this early into the match now. Oh, Glaze here and gets sniped. Nice Icicle, uh, Spirit Shackle from Utah. Nice Side Shock, Saibi Messer into Slow Bro. And they're gonna try to score some more points right here. Toon's gonna score 11. Even looks from you. He's gonna miss the Side Shock though. Saibi is going to land. 11 more points going. There's the Spirit Shackle landing. And Mew is dead as well. Mew is gone. Knocked out. And this Tali Believer is already in full control in their first game of this tournament. But Trevenant drawn HP. Can they get Trevenant? He's won! And Toon Sim is gonna save him with that Unite move as well. Which is a little bit of an issue because he doesn't have Unite move now for this first Veggie. But I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Klaus is just completely destroying top path right now. Comfey is down. Level 9 for Buzzworld already. Three minutes into the match. And their lanes. We have Espion on level 9, Buzzworld on level 9, and the Sidro on level 9. Three level 9 Pokemon. Three minutes into the game. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. <laughs> That's insane. Spirit Shack's going to land. Double Wood Hammer. Slowbro's already down. You know, changing abilities. Maybe going into an Electro Ball right here. Boost out Tech Electro Ball. And actually, Dodrio snipes it away. Dodrio gets the first Reggie of the game. For the side of Mimir. But oh, Bus was here on the flank. They take down Glacier. They take down Mew. They take down Dodrio. And another 40 points will go in for the Sidroi to get another attack rate second. But in the end, Buswell's just gonna take it. Because the sky damage is there. Triple KO for the Sidroi. And they're gonna probably keep on pushing right here. Now it's a Finite Move up, but so is Glacier. And trying to defend on Megu Z Jack Butting and Quadra KO for the South of Utah. Not Hoonslam dropping no HP. They actually get Toonslam at least. 40 points slogan for the Sidroi. But I think the Sidroi might be a bit deeper right here. Does he. Okay, he has a Jack Button up, but the Icy Wind's going to land. Nice little Canadians there onto Yutao. Skite is going to miss, but the Sweet Kiss is going to be there into the Solar Beam. And Yutao punished for by extending. But it's worth it. He got 40 points in, and I think one or two more scores, so he got a lot of attack rate stacks in. But now we have Mimia going for this bottom push right now. Can Glacier get those points in? No, Trevin and Megu should be enough to defend this right here. Wotemma is going to land. And they're gonna be totally fine. Nice side beam. They're gonna make the Atarius right here. Off that side beam, side shock is gonna land. Mew has to eject by the way. Oh, Toon Slim just barely not reaching those backline Pokemon there. He's still in the chase. Toon Slim is angry. He wants more. The side shock gets the eject button away. But Toon is also going to live. And they take down Slow Bro in the end. Plus one top path. They oh, he eject buttons forward. Smackdown's getting full healed. Nice one by uh, by the uh, Dodrio there. But another Smackdown comes in. Superpower. 
And Klaus just does not care right now. He is very aggressive. 3 level lead for the solo lane. Or not solo lane, for the uh, top damage dealer. But now he's caught Telekinesis there. Icy Wind. He has to use the Night Move going on to Glaceon. Superpower is not going to hit because of the passive of Glaceon. And Klaus actually taken down. Now the Sigil with the Night Move, but Julius is trying to look for it. Eldegor still flying up, but they actually get you Tau. Double knockout, but the Eldegor is going to auto attack Dodrio. Two more will do it. And now you Toon Slam, looking at me for the push in on this way, Like trying to look another side shock right here. It's gonna go in, it's gonna almost hit on Mew, but Toon Slam is low on HP. And Mimi making kind of a comeback right here. They get four knockouts in this top path exchange. Double kill for the Glaceon. Showing some signs of life. Oh, nice bird check here, though. It's going to land you. Tau takes on the Glaceon. One more, he takes on the comp as well. Can he make it a third one? No way, right? Okay, yeah, he doesn't know where Mew went. He tried. But now there's the arrow, but nice agility away from Reigns there. And now Yutao is gonna try to score those 50 points if he can. So, oh, one more bunny spawned, but yeah. Oh, there's the Smackdown eject button. Mew's getting punched into the air and taken down. Next up, we have Red Eyes. Unstam Zervas already working on it. And they're gonna be taking it down for free. 324 to 23 points right now for the side of the Tali Believers. Yeah, close level 13. Sidroy is well level 13. Highest level in the game right now. Almost 14 already. Those spirit jackets are gonna deal so much damage. They're gonna deal so much damage. What has Slobbery Knight lands onto Trevenant? No, onto Espion, I mean. Sorry, onto Espion. And they actually get Toon Slim. But Klaus on the flank. Superpower Smackdown. New Knight move. Smashes on the Mew. Tries to go for the next target. Now Slowbrew has nowhere to go. Stuck right there on top of Trevenant. But Comfey at least makes it to Glaceon. And again, get out in time. The Sidroy taken down by Dodrio, who's gonna score a lot of points as well for the side of Mimir. So I'm not doing too bad, he's gonna stay stacking his attack rate right now. Get another stack in right here. And level 13 as well, Klaus on the flank, they're gonna look for it. Try attack maybe onto Espeon. Dodrio is just trying looking for the knockout, he knows that Super Basso is behind him. There's the punch. And taken down. Honestly, Bimir is not doing too bad in experience right now. They have a 13 on Dodrio, they have a 13 Glaceon. So this game is for sure not over yet. If Tali makes some sort of mistakes, which I mean they rarely do, but they can happen, it would still be quite, quite scary. I see even forward, Klaus is trying to stay in the bush. In the toy grass. And uh, Psyshock is going to miss this time around. Looking for this Regilecki now. Up next, Solar Beam does so much damage to Klaus. He has to away from the Regilecki. To just not go down right here, but you tower with those spell check hits. Oh my god, it does so much damage. Me already down. Those spell check hits are doing a crazy amount of damage right now. They're gonna go for the Regilecki. And Ray is already spawning now. Slowbro trying to get some positioning in. Who's Comfy gonna go on? But Slowbro is low. He has to hear. I mean, he has Sweet Kiss. He can't even hear. Is that a misclick or is that actually serious? Like, the Sweet Kiss is so useless. Going in now, there's another Sweet Kiss, not hitting anything, actually might hit Mego right here. Oh, they actually take down, oh my god, that Spirit Checker from Utah. <laughs> also takes on the Comfy after he gets detached. <laughs> what was that damage? Dodrio also down, another Spirit Check is going to land. And Utah is just hitting them over and over and over again. Onto the enemy squishy Pokemon and they take down Ray. And it's gonna be the first game for Tali. But two, we have now Decidui, Slowbro, Zora, Koopa, Dodrio for the side of Tali. And this time, Toon Slim playing Decidui. And for the red team, we have Eldegos, Espion, Buzzboy, Glaceon, and Revenant. This time, no Comfey shenanigans. And on top, we have again the Decidui. But again, played by Toon Slim this time. I wonder if he also takes over the center area or if he goes towards bot path. No, he does go to over towards bot path because we have Yutao messing up the jump across the wall. I've done this one before as well. It's annoying, but the clear is still fast enough for him to even get the Xatu just in time before the blue buff spawns. But yeah, no, it has happened to me too. It's not, a, you know, something that happens. But they're up against an Espion on bot path. It's going to be very difficult. What are going to charge up and they don't get the last hit. Goes over to the Eevee. And now Reigns is going to get a very fast level 4. They've tried to see this one away and they actually get it. They actually get the bunny as well. Wonderful play by the Trevenant. And now we already have Espeon. So early into the game. And there's already so much damage going on to Toon Slam. He's very low on HP. He has to eject button away quite, quite early on. On top on bot path right here. Has to be super, super careful. And now they're going to turn on to Trevenant. 
The next side shock is gonna be maybe huge. Looking for the NDD and for Toon Slam. Can he actually get Toon Slam right here? He loses vision right now. Eject buttons forward and that's first KO of the game. This time going over to the side of the Espion and straight it again. Just like last game, but this time a bit differently. Round two towers here now. He's gonna score 15 points. And I can't find any knockouts himself though. Ataria spawned. Plus for only level 4 yet. Klaus is diving in. Level 5 is achieved. Takes the hyperspace portal. And he can now look for a faint attack maybe. If he wants to go so. But no. Plays a bit safe. Bot path. We have the Trevenant going down. Not chasing. But the X speed is going to be enough. To get Trevenant away for now. Yutao might be looking for an wait right here. But actually turns around. Looking for the NDD instead. Gets Psy shocked. Full heal has to be used. But it's going to make it out alive. And now Toonsel looking for this last hit right here. And he actually gets it. Level 5 achieved now. For the head of Toon, and he's gonna go for another attack bait stack as well. And there's Espion going down. This is huge for Toon Slam, because now he can just maybe stack for free. Can he get this bunny as well? Yes, he can. Glacian is here though. Can Toon Slam get out alive? Slowbro is already down. I think Toon Slam is gonna fall next for sure. Oh no, the eject button's so late, and he's gonna be able to get enough distance away from the Glacian. And now Dude Tao is gonna turn it around. Oh, that is so wonderfully played by Tali Believer. So close in the end, but they actually are able to win this fight in the end. That was going for mid now, looking for this faint attack resets. Gets the last one as well, but is not going to overcommit for it. Takes the jump back out. But that was such a close fight. Now we have Toon Slam going for the mid center area to get to level 7 safely. Looking at Klaus now again. Faint attack is going to land into the slash. Faint attack. Final faint attack is there, but not enough damage yet for anyone to fall up here. Looking for it again. It's going to miss the slash this time around, which means he can't continue doing anything. Yutao almost level 9 already. Buswell has to be careful right here. They're diving in. Oh, there's the Shadow Claw. They can't move. They keep getting chain stunned by the Shadow Claw. And a nice double KO for the self Klaus. On top path. That's the difference between level 7 and before level 7 when you pick up that Shadow Claw. Oh, nice. Spirit Check is going to land. Who's still looking for the snipe right here? It's gonna start over the Red Eyes. But all five members from Mimia are, are here. I can't understand anything about this place. You know, there. Has he Nightmove? But Sturio going very deep with the Nightmove. He's going to finish off Buster already. Looking for the next one. Boost out attacks. Takes on Espion. Next one is Trevenant to fall. There's only two members left. Can they somehow get it? No, they can't. Edigos is going to fall as well. Trevenant, though, taken down by the Reggie in the end. And it's only Glacion left, but you tower on the chase. He is mad and aggressive. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a huge team fight win for the side of Tali Believer. Super power going in. Toonsim dropped me down HP, but Buswood just doesn't have enough damage right now. Boost out take off Utah is going to take him down. Spirit check it. Oh yes, Espion is also going to fall next. Looking for the Trevenant, but we have Klaus on the back line. Looking for those faint attacks. He's going to hit Trevenant as well. Looking for Edigos. Unite moving in as well. Next faint attack is going to take down Edigos. And they just get aced. Five more points going for Toon Slam. Another attack rate stack. And now there's gonna probably keep up these this goal for now to just farm by Pokemon. And then maybe get a huge score in for the Sidroy at some point. No reason to break the goal right now. They already just broke top path. So can keep the bot path for sure alive. Zorak might be caught. But Zorak has so much mobility. That's quite quite difficult for Zorak to actually go down. Magus is gonna be on bot path to try and defend the goal right here. There's no way they can kill a slow, bro. So he's gonna be totally fine. And we have Tali Believers with the rest going for this push right here. Buswell dropping no HP. Dice and his unite move right now. Toon Slam though getting one shot by the Espion damage. Nice eject button hitting three more members, but they don't have enough damage. No follow up is there. Klaus diving in. Has to be careful. And Psyshock's also gonna take him down. Tali again being a bit too over aggressive right now. Just like last game on top half. And they get punished a tiny bit for it. Punished a tiny bit. They get Toon Slam. And they get also Klaus. So they're 170 to 0 points. Which also means that Buswell has no stacks in case he runs attack bait. Which is quite quite bad. Next Red Eye spawning in 10 seconds. So Spirit Check it's already doing a lot of damage again. This is right charging up the arrow, hitting Espion and Trevenant. Looking for the next one. Does he have Unite Move? Yes, he does have Unite Move. He's gonna try to reposition right now. Goes very far back. He actually doesn't use it. Toonstim is waiting very long on his Unite Move right now. The Reggie sees under half HP. There's the Nightmove happening now. Who's going to get this one? Looks good, but Hooper! There was able to snipe him with that huge laser. And now Klaus is here and four members fall instantly. Jesus. Comes in from the side. 40 points going for two now. That's exactly what I talked about. Just leaving the goal up. Now they can get a huge overcap. And Utah wasn't even in this fight. They ace them on board. They take on the objective. 
And Utah was just doing do do things on the other side as well. And also gonna fall again as well. Spirit jackets are still ending. It's a long time to go before this game is uh, over though. Oh no, my the spirit jacket damage again. Hitting two members right here. Espion low HP. And now what is close? What is close up to? Goes in, dives in, looking for the Unite move right here, but he's getting stunned by the Espion Unite. Klaus punished again for going a bit too aggressive, Smackdown onto Servas, and Servas is also going to fall for sure, right? Superpowers there. Another double KO for the side of Mimir. Not too bad against Spirit Shackle landing onto Glacian, Trevenant, Trevenant already down. Glacian also getting taken out by Dojo in the end. Double knockout for the side of Yutao, who maybe has to go to top path to defend this. He has Unite move up, and he's going to catch Espion. Oh, it's so much damage. He's gonna actually miss one boost auto attack, but the try attack is enough to take him down. Is Yuta gonna unite move right here? He probably doesn't even have to unite move. Klaus is here. Dive is in faint attack. Shadow Claw faint attack. Faint attack. Takes down the Edegos. Which like he's 1 HP! And Basu just walks up and auto attacks it. What Tali believers? They'll actually lose two members as well. Smackdown superpower. Onto Zervas. The superpower is going to miss and he's gonna fend the force into cyberspace hole to be safe for now. Still sticking around though. But the Vegelecki is gonna go in. And they're gonna score 37 and 50 points. They just left Vegelecki 1 HP. And then Basu just walks up and smacks it. So Mimir actually having a chance on this game still now. Veggie Rock is up next. It's gonna fall. Any moment now. There we go. Take it down. Now the paint split onto the NDD. Shadow Claw. Faint attack. Goes in. Looking for the Trevenant. And Klaus chasing in. Faint attack. Shadow Claw. Can he take down Trevenant? Trevenant is such a tanky Pokemon. He has paint split as well. And now we have Ray spawning. But this level 14 Decidueye, those spirit checkers are going to do so much damage from Toon Slim. Already hitting on Trevenant right now. They're going to look for an, a fight into this middle area, if they can. Elgos, the first one to walk in. It's going to check the bush at uh, the bush or toy grass with that point puff. But Klaus on the flank. And so far, Tali is much more aggressive. There was oh, not one spirit checker landing on two members. Looking for the next spirit checker right here onto Elgos. Elgos does not get hit this time around. But Trevenant is taking so much HP in the point puff. It doesn't get shared. Another Spirit Shackle looking. It's going to miss this time around. Dodi's already scoring points on top path. Another Spirit Shackle lands on Espion. It's so difficult for the South Mimir to actually get into this fight. They have to do something. They're waiting too long. They have no chance against the Spirit Shackle and Moving in now. Klaus is diving in. Now he kind of gets stunned out. Icy Wind. Klaus is one shot. Klaus is gone. But there's Dodi from the side now. Looking for Espion. Espion is trying to run away. Boost out is going to be enough. Agility into Glaceon. And Yutao is just playing around right now, looking for his next boost auto attack, but he's getting caught! Yutao might be down! That's two members down. For Tali Believers. And Toonstam also getting chased. Zervas trying to save him. And now we can have Mimir going for this. Maybe Rayquaza. Megu stopping low HP. He's gonna get taken down as well. This could be the chance. Smackdown superpower onto Zervas. Also taken down. It's all down to Toonstam now. And Klaus. Klaus trying to provide vision for the South Toonstam. Charging up the arrow quite early, actually. And he's going to cancel it for now. Buswell is going to miss. Chasing down. And Klaus is down as well. Klaus is gone. The Citroen are looking for something. But he can't get away from Buswell. And they're going to take, take Rayquaza. Mimir. With a Rayquaza. Can they score enough points though? They have to score 300 in total. To actually win this game. They might to do so. Oh my god. They are currently still 5 points behind. Edegos just has to make it. He walks in. He's going to stun. Edegos score. He's going to score 100 points. <laughs> and Mimi is going to take a game of Tali Believers. No way. Those last two minutes. Crazy. Tali are going to drop a game in round number two. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was quite unexpected. With an insane comeback. And this is why you don't give up, guys. This is why you do not give up. They take game number two. Heading into game number three. Can Mimir look for the biggest upset they probably might have ever seen? Espion, Trevenant, Tupac, Rora, Glaceon for the side of Tali Bobo. And on the right side, we have Edgar, Sylveon, Dorio, Delphox, and Snorlax. Again, double attacker, one, def one speed on both sides. So very squishy team comes. Only one defender. And not really a lot of frontline happening. They have the double evolution for the side of Tali. Let's see if they share some center area experience as well. It doesn't look like it. Toonsim is going to straight up run towards what path. And they're going to just try to be fast with these to make sure that they are the first in the very fast. They don't do the middle bunny. 
because they want to be at this NED as fast as possible and start maybe bursting it down. But Snorlax is here. Snorlax going for the last hit and Snorlax gets the last hit. Right there. Going for the next last hit here as well. Snorlax not going to try for anything more. But Sylveon already level 4 now. Is it going to be Hyper Voice or is it going to be Mystic Fire? Looks like it's going to be Hyper Voice. There we go. Hyper Voice is being happening. Looking for Toon Slim. Toon Slim getting a tech on. But they try to trade away damage. Snorlax on 1 HP. Eject button from Trevenant will be enough to take down the Snorlax. And first knockout of the game goes over to Tali this time around. Man, this bot path always like fight each other so much. We always have a knockout happening in the first minute on bot path. Utah with the icy wind build. Looking for an auto attack right here to make sure he keeps it up, but doesn't actually go for it. He's a bit scared. And he loses his 8 stacks onto that icy wind. Klaus very close to 5 already again. If he gets 5 in this fight, it could be very bad for the side of Mimir. He does get 5. Can he go in though is the question. Takes the hyperspace portal instead. Probably didn't want to take this one, but had to. And Klaus now looking for the first faint attack. Goes in. It's gonna miss the faint attack. Doesn't get a reset. Has to be careful now. The drip pack is down the bite toy though. And they're gonna play quite, quite safe. What path? We have Snorlax taking down Megu with the help of Sylveon. That's a KO for the side of Mimir. Toon Slim very aggressive as well. He gets taken. Toon Slim. Did he try too much? Tries to dodge away. Also taken down. A 2v2 double KO for the side of Mimir on bot path. 24 and 14 points going. Sylveon trying to see another 5 points away and he does so successfully. And our range is looking for the next Indie D as well. Looking for the Hyper Voice right here. Can Megu steal it away? Megu wonderfully done with that Will Wisp. He's going to take this last hit at least. And Wotem is now unlocked as well. Looking for the stun onto Sylveon, but the Side Shock is going to miss already. Megu there now with a nice Wood Hammer. Charging back to the left side and there's the next Side Shock. And this time, Tali Believer's bot path is going to win again. Wood Hammer, Wood Hammer. But the Side Shock is missed by Toon Slim, but it doesn't matter. Sidebeam is going to connect. And now 20, 18 points go in. And now a double knockout for the side of Tali Believers on bot path. Klaus diving in onto Del Fox. There's the fan. There's the slash. There's the faint attack. Final form or whatever it's called. Final attack. And they also take down Eldegoss as well. Diving in as well again onto Reigns. Taken out by the Icy Wind. Double carry now for Yutao. And now Tali Believers is already back in this game. Quite, quite fast. Off this mid path play. Espion on top path. Who's looking for the knockout onto Dodrio? But the jump kick is going to be enough. Drill pick onto the bunny. But Dodri is doing quite well on this top path right now, this game around. Drill pick as well again. And actually take down Klaus on bot path. Oh my god, has to be careful right now. Not to get taken down right here. Messed up a tiny bit. And now we have the Reggie Rock spawning. Ali Believers are gonna start going for it. Icy Wind onto the Reggie Rock. Ice that fires fire spin actually. Fire spin for the side of Mimir. And that Death Fox play. I do like fire spin as well. I do think it's a good supportive damage build. Of course, Mystic Fire Flame Charge is a bit better, but if you play him like a Voltec, a Pikachu, there's the Fire Spin landing into Mystic Fire. Utah has Eject Butt away, but it's going to bait Snorlax going in, and Snorlax is going to fall. Utah not looking for it because the Spell is there, and a double knockout for Sub Utah. Klaus diving in deep. Loy diving in very deep right here. But he should be fine. Fire Spin's going to land. Mystic Fire is getting dodged away from. There's a Faint Attack, Shadow Claw Faint Attack, jumping onto Sylveon, and Espion is going to secure that Reggie for the side of Tali Believers. Sylveon looking for the knockout onto Zoroark, but the Night Boom is going to be enough. For Klaus to be safe. Dodrio looking for the Altaria right here. He's gonna take those down. Snorlax, Utah also getting taken down. They actually make a lot of mistakes though. Even though they look very dominant still, they do a lot of mistakes, but they just go down left and right. So Mimi really funny these knockouts. Klaus trying to steal it away and he does so. Heavy Slam is there though. Into the fire spin. Missing a fire is there as well. Can they take on Klaus the Cotton Spore? He's gonna try to dive in. And he's gonna look for the knockout. Another, another final slash of the faint attack comes in. And Klaus makes it out alive with very fancy footwork right there. Makes it out alive. Sylveon on the chase though. And gonna take a hyperspace portal. Back to base. Heavy Slam is gonna follow it into the block. But Klaus should be totally fine. Unless he gets drill packed into the wall and he does get drill packed. Apparently he didn't have his faint attack up. And Klaus goes down. No Servus is next. Oh, Dorian is going to knock up Servus, and Servus is also going to fall. Mimi now with the push onto the top path. 40 points go in for the side of Sylveon. Another 40 points maybe go in. Not sure actually who got the score in. Or did they mess up? Did Dorio, because of Dorio's scoring, they lost a bit of an overcap. I don't think they care. They just want to make sure they get their points in. 40 go in for the Sylveon. Yeah, they did lose some points right there, but it doesn't matter. SP Knight is there. Toonstep, low on HP though. Can they take down Snorlax? Snorlax, low on HP. Is like yet half. Two members, three members of Mimi are down now. And they somehow lose this fight in the end. They couldn't go for this Regilecki. They tried. 
Now Tali on the push. Paint attack is diving in. He's gonna hit all of those. But the Adios with a nice unite move dodge there. To live. But it's not gonna be doing all too much. And the Regilecki walks in. Glazing is gonna take those points. 24 in total. And now Tali with a small lead of 251 to 134 points. Espion, Tunsim is on bot path. Looking for this Reggie to spawn. Has gonna be a free Regis. For Tali believers. Experience wise, Tali is for sure ahead. They have level 12 Zorak, level 12 Glaceon. And Toonsim also very close to level 12. But actually, Sylvan's gonna try to maybe see this one away. Servus has to drop the hoop unbound to maybe stun out the Sylveon, but the Hyper Voice can't be stunned. And the Zorak's gonna secure it. And now Klaus is diving in very deep. Nice faint detect there. He's gonna take down two instantly. Sonic's also gonna fall Dory. Maybe try to look for a Dory pack right here, but completely misses at the Wood Hammer. Knocks him down into the Horn Leech. And Dory also taken down in the end. Four members down from Mimir. And Talis is looking for a small push right here. Espion doesn't try to go for it because it's a bit too risky. But they get 24 more points in. Nice Wood Hammer here by Megu. But he's gonna get blocked into the wall. Can Megu make it out alive? Nice! Psyshock, Psybeam snipe there onto the Edegos. And Megu's still alive right now. This Trevenant is so tanky. Hyperspace port is there. And in the end, Sylveon is also going to fall. They just can't take down this Trevenant. He seems unkillable a bit right now. And they actually turn it around. And get two more knockouts as well. Jesus. Next up is Ranger Lecky. Megu face checking again, looking for the blue of C right here, but Hoonstim is around. Psyshock, Psybeam, and they're gonna steal that away. Quite, quite easily. Sonex is trying to buy time right here, but it's gonna get taken. Hey, it was actually taken on by Zorak. Klaus on the flank right here. But he has to be careful, he was overextending in the last few games quite a lot in late game. Looks for the faint attack, he's going to miss it as well. There's the faint attack, and there's the jump kick. But full here, another Shadow Claw drill pack. Dudu is looking for this knockout. And taken down, free strike, icy wind. Is enough damage to take him down from half HP. Now we have Tali again going for another energy like he up top path. And should be able to do it quite quite easily. Snorlax is around. And we have seen heavy slams stealing objectives away. But uh, they're up against Icy Wind and Espeon, so. Taken down now with that final faint attack. Pushing towards the second goal on top path. But Tali actually with the smallest lead so far in this game. And they're slowly diving in. They're looking for the fight right now. Espion with a very safe unite move. Tries to get in the hyperspace portal, but Snorlax is gonna zone him away from it. And now two members are down from Tali Believers. Two members are down. It all comes down to you, Tau again. Megu still at full HP, no half HP right now. Has unite move up. This could be it for Mimir. Can they take down Tali Believers? Heavy Slam is gonna land. But Zorak is gonna take down Sylveon. Drill pack is there as well. Zorak is jumping in, looking for Dodrio. But the nice Drill pack is gonna take down Klaus as well. It's now a 2v3. In favor of Tali Believers, Yutao is still at full HP, he's level 15 Glaceon. Can he take down Dodrio as well? Dodrio with the drip pack, but he gets stuck in the horn leech. Taken down, and Yutao might just save the game. Yutao and Megu saving the game for Tali Believers right here. That would be insane if they would <laughs> drop into the lower bracket this early on. But it's not over yet. 120 to go. We have no Unite, we still have Hoop Unbound actually. For Tali Believers. Oh, that looked so bad, they actually found two, no two, two picks. Onto Toon Slim as well, and onto Servas, but it was just not enough to just keep on going for Ray afterwards. One minute to go. Mimi are not looking for the engage as well. Cotton Spot's gonna go in. Nice Horn Leech there into Wood Hammer from Megu. And Edegosh just gets one shot, but nice Heavy Slam as well. Dropping Megu out of the hyper Hyperspace Portal. The Fox is going to land. No Dory is very deep, but the Icy Wind just does too much damage right now. Nice fire spin though. They take down Trevenant. Servos also low on HP, but Klaus is diving in. Klaus is also down though on 1 HP, but it's gonna be 4 members down from the side of Mimir. With only 35 seconds left. This might just be it now. This Icy Wind Glacier just is doing too much right now. Yutao just does damage, so much damage, one after another. And that should probably be it. 25 seconds left. A very good point lead for the side of Tali Believers. Nah, but nice try by Mimi. They almost had it. They actually almost they almost made the biggest upset happen that we could have ever seen in the tournament, I feel like. But in the end, Tali Believers off of Yutao's Glaceon is able to stay ahead and close out the series. My god. <laughs> that, was, that was, I think, Tali. That was way too close for comfort for Tali Believers. They almost drop into the loser bracket right here. But they take it 2-1 in the end. 40 knockouts for the Glaceon. And 93,000 damage.